images of the uh, devastation from Christchurch. So I think for each of those 24 children who took photos, it's a, it's a personal, it's a personal um, experience and impression for them. We're here to set New Zealand to front amongst us. There was a key element missing, the voices of children. In September 2012, UNICEF New Zealand undertook a project to give children in Christchurch the voice of the earthquake and how this affected their lives and their communities. A number of schools in Christchurch were invited to participate in the project and they accepted and nominated students to attend, resulting in 24 students participating in two full-day photography workshops. UNESCO, both in New Zealand and Canon, partnered with UNICEF New Zealand to enable the project. The children were guided by four themes to base their photos around how the earthquakes had affected their lives and families, how the earthquake had affected their communities, how life goes on in spite of a major natural disaster, and what people should know about living through an earthquake. The photographs and discussions with the children communicate a strong sense of how resilient the people of Christchurch continue to be long after the, after the disaster. However, amongst all of this adversity, hope grows. A number of children took stunning photographs to show life goes on and Christchurch is still a fantastic place to live. The, the children felt it was important for people who do not live in Christchurch or who have never experienced a large scale disaster to know that it takes a long time to return to normal and things will never truly be the same. Furthermore, the people of Christchurch are tough and proud of their city. Despite the earthquakes and the damage, Christchurch is still a city where startling beauty can be found. 24 powerful images with supporting captions have been collated to form this photographic exhibition in Christchurch Centre My Arts. The exhibition has been spread for Canterbury Museum in Christchurch and again at St James Theatre in Wellington. Although it was more than two and a half years since the initial quake, the people of Christchurch continue to rebuild their lives. And children are still faced with significant challenges long after the initial disaster. It is our hope this exhibition will share not only the unique perspective of the children who have participated in this project, but will also encourage adults to value the views of children who experience natural disasters. Any lessons that can be learned and used to prevent loss of life or unnecessary hardship due to natural disasters are lessons well worth learning. On a final note, thank you to the children of Christchurch who participated in this project and shared with us their unique insights of living through the Canterbury earthquakes. Please enjoy their work, which will continue to be displayed here at the Eugenica Museum until the 5th of July. Thank you. On behalf of UNICEF, I really would like to sincerely congratulate the New Zealand Embassy in the Philippines organizing this for the exhibition. New Zealand has been one of the important partners for UNICEF in the Philippines, including a response to major emergencies like tropical depression syndrome and also uh, up. We sincerely appreciate your country's effort, support, as well as your personal support and also the world to our work for children in the Philippines. For us, the occurrence of disasters is not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. So there's all the more reason why disaster preparedness and disaster response is so important. It is very well known by now that a group of expressive and creative activities such as drawing, uh, storytelling, and photography help the affected children's psychosocial recovery from the experiences of major disasters. Importantly, they also show us how children view disasters from their point of view as one of the affected population. This uh, uh, exhibition uh, titled uh, See Through My Eyes is a portrayal of these life-changing events through the, through the eyes of young children uh, in Christ Church. The children of New Zealand and also the Philippines, they experience disasters, some of them as devastating, as Ivan Pablo, as we all know. Yet, they, they remain very resilient, positive, and have perspective and lessons to tell us, adults, about how 
fighting experiences affect them. According to the International Convention on the Right of the Child, children defined as 18, you know, less than 18 years of age, they are full-fledged persons who have the right to express their views in all matters affecting them. And those views must be heard and given due weight in accordance with the child age and maturity. That's how Convention on the Rights of the Child defines child participation. The Convention also recognizes the potential of children to enrich decision-making process, to share experiences, and to participate as citizens and actors of change. Thank you.